Hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial and um, today I'm doing something that you guys have been asking a lot um, what do you do to add a fishing line or oh, what do I do when my fishing line is uh, finished and I need to seal my work and add another fishing line okay so say my fishing line length uh, I was working on this and it's almost done okay so what do i do to add another fishing line so this is the skill that i have been using and i'm going to share it with you guys so what i do basically is if i was here i just um sort of like undo my work here just like that and then i pass the fishing line through here this fishing line like that and then I pull okay so I have something that looks like this and then I pass the fishing line on my left hand um, through this bead here like that and then I pull okay like that and then I on the fishing line on the right hand I pass through the next uh, immediate uh, one bead like that so um, it depends if my work is on bigger beads like this I can make um, what do you call it I can make uh, a knot okay uh, so that it can be tight but if it's on the seed beads I just continue making these corners until I feel that my work is secure that makes sure that your artwork is neat first of all and apart from being neat you it's also sturdy okay so as you can see this fishing line length is not that short but it's uh, not that long either so if you have such uh, or less so that's the best um, point to start closing off your fishing line before you add another fishing line okay so then I make another corner on this fishing line here okay and then this one I make a corner so basically what I'm working with is working with uh, corners okay so with the corners it will make sure that your fishing line is properly tucked in and also it won't come out and it can't be seen your work will be very neat okay so as you can see here I'm going making the corners and at the end we're going to test and see if our, our beads can come off and you'll see that it's going to be quite tight so i'm making corners as you can see there just continue making corners until you feel that your fishing line is short and um uh, strong per se okay so just one with the corners you make sure that you pass the fishing line on only one bead don't pass it through a lot of beads um, you pass it through only one bead okay like that you pass it through like that so until your fishing line becomes short so that one has become short and then now I, I pass the fishing line on the other end like that making corners remember we're making corners just going randomly but make sure you're making corners uh on every um bit there so you can go either direction just make sure that you're making corners and it's only through one bid just one bid at a time okay so another one there make another corner just one corner and pass it through um i feel here there is some obstruction i can try it's past okay so as you can see our fishing line is getting shorter and shorter uh, as we continue doing this and um, once you do this you are very sure that your artwork is tight and secure and it won't come off okay so you just continue doing that until you are sure and you feel you you can feel the the strength of your um artwork improving so as you can see here i'm pulling this with quite some strength and this was the tip that we were at and it's 
properly secured uh, so that's how you seal it off and another thing another tip that will help you is once you have your fishing lines hanging like this you will be tempted to cut them off right now but please don't do that you wait until you're done with your artwork and then now you can cut off the fishing lines one at a time once you're sure that your artwork is okay because um, if you cut it now and then you realize that there is a mistake that you had done before you will have to undo the whole thing there it's going to be a total mess and um, that's something that you won't want so don't cut these fishing lines the ones that you see dangling here once you've done this don't cut them right now wait until you're done with your artwork and then you can cut off all the um, excess fishing lines that are dangling once you're sure that your work is neat because as you can see here when it's like this you can easily undo if you had done a mistake because in bidding there are a lot of mistakes that happen that you hadn't even uh, seen them once you are when you are working and i think the more you practice the more you'll appreciate that uh, mistakes are bound to happen um i hope that makes sense so once you've done that you come you pick your uh, now new fishing line that you have okay um so i'll pass it through uh this one bead here just one bead and then this uh end here of this bead here okay um, so this is a continuation of uh, part one where we were doing introduction to um, the right angle weave so we pass this fishing line through this one bead here so you should have something and then now you make sure that your fishing line is parallel like that i hope you can see that and then you hold those tips so that you can balance and then you pull okay so once you do that your work is neat okay but don't cut off these fishing lines now it will mess you if you have done any mistake so as you can see here we've added extra fishing line and now we are going to continue so you just um, pick one red bead on the right and one red bead on the left make sure our fishing line is balanced you crisscross on the bead from the left you make sure again your fishing line is balanced like that and then you pull then you should have something that looks like this okay so then you pass the fishing line through the next uh, red bead there like that and then you pull and then you add uh, you take one red bead on the right one red bead on the left and then you crisscross on the red bead from the right like that and then you pull so ladies and gentlemen that's how we add fishing line and that's how uh, your artwork should look once you've added fishing line remember uh, depending on what you're making you're supposed to wait until you've finished and then now once you've finished you can now cut off the excess fishing line uh, thank you and if you'd like this type of tutorial kindly let me know in the comment section down below and um, let me know what you'd love to see next so thank you guys and hope to see you on our next tutorial